let's talk DJI. And more specifically in this video, we're gonna talk about the DJI Air 2S. This is still a very new drone to the market. And since our initial unboxing and first impressions, we've been flying this and we've been flying it a lot. In this video, we're gonna give you, maybe not our final impressions, but really good um, 30 flights in at least impressions. And having flown over a thousand different drones on our channel, probably getting closer to like 1100 now, I think we have a pretty good standardization of what to expect out of a drone and especially out of DJI drones. Now let's get something out of the way right now. A lot of people, at least that have been around for a while, think that we have this weird hatred toward DJI and that's really not true at all. We just have a very mutual feeling about DJI. There's no love, there's no uh, devotion to DJI like, like some fans may have. We just like to look at individual drones for what they are and through our experiences I'd say about 30% or so of the DJI products that we've had our hands on, DJI, let's get it right everybody, <laughs> uh, have been bad. You know, we hated our Inspire, we didn't like the original Mavic Mini, and I think that uh, we have a lot of reasons to not like those things. But now, with drones like this, DJI is really getting it right. They're hitting the nail on the head with seemingly just about everything they throw on the market. And this Air 2S is no exception. From camera quality to silky smoothness from the gimbal, really nice flight performance out of the drone, and even long flight times and now record distance on the range. They boast over a seven mile flight range on this drone. That's impressive. I don't necessarily recommend flying it at that distance, guys. We don't like to encourage breaking line of sight on our channel, and I encourage that while you're flying in real life, you also don't break line of sight. What is that? Maybe a little bit of standardization for safety flying that we like to recommend through the Academy of Model Aeronautics. If you're new to drones, or maybe you're experienced with drones, but you're not really familiar with flying safely, we highly encourage you to sign up for AMA. It costs about the price of one of these overpriced batteries, really, and you can fly safely with insurance through the Academy of Model Aeronautics and learn how to represent the hobby at its finest. Let's be a good guy and represent the hobby so we can continue to see growth like we're seeing in this drone. You also get a really nice monthly magazine subscription that has to do with aviation. More specifically, probably more so airplanes in that magazine, but they're still really good reads and a lot of times they touch on drones. So I highly recommend you sign up for them. Our Air 2S, I wanted this. I wanted this drone and we currently own a Mavic uh, 2 Pro. Uh, we also still own our Spark, just to give you guys a little indication of where we're coming from. Uh, we've had our hands on the Mavic Mini and there's a lot of talk now about the Mavic 3 coming to the market and even some rumors have been leaked about a new very small lightweight possibly even cheaper than the mavic mini 2 drone to make it more affordable for everyone to get into uh, this awesome hobby so where does this one fall with the now seemingly hundreds of dji drones it falls really high on my checklist out of what i want for a drone now just because this boasts a seven and a half mile range doesn't mean you have to fly that far but what it does mean is when you are flying within the range that you feel comfortable in you'll have a much stronger signal through video as well as the connection to the radio. And let's talk about this radio for a second because when I first got my hands on it, this is the first time we've had our hands on this specific style of radio. I was a bit disappointed with the lack of display and a few other things, the way it feels, it looks a bit bulkier than the one that folds up really small, but I have to say the more I use it, the more I like it. It just gets the job done and it gets the job, the job done really well. The phone holder system seems to work better than their previous phone holder systems because we don't have to take our phones out of the cases um, as commonly now to fly with this and it just when it works well I really don't care as much how it looks because it's getting the job done so despite not having an on-screen display here you know you still have all that information popping up on your phone when you're flying and a plethora of phone sizes will fit in here and work really well on this radio setup I'm flying on believe it or not this amazing $1,300 setup I'm using a $100 iPhone 6 to fly on. I got this on a Black Friday sale. 
a few years ago actually for a hundred dollars even and it has no SIM card in this phone. I think that's a really important thing to talk about because a lot of people think that they have to have this thousand dollar phone with a hundred dollar a month uh, bill to fly their drones on and that's simply not true as long as the phone is capable of downloading the app But the iPhone 6 is a pretty old phone at this point and it does fly the drone extremely well I do get a bit of lag like you can tell the frame rates will drop and things just because the processor on this phone is getting a bit dated And hopefully maybe this year for Christmas I'll upgrade to an iPhone 8 or something <laughs> like that even though the 12 is out now but I want you guys to know that you can fly a really nice new drone on a pretty old smartphone. So bear that in mind, $100 and there's no monthly fee and it flies this drone extremely well. I wanted this drone for myself to see how far DJI has come in the last few years. I, I almost feel like a lot of people like to upgrade their phones every year, every two years, maybe every three years. I shoot for every four or five years on my phone upgrade, my personal phone. This isn't my personal phone, it's my drone phone. Uh, so that one's super old. But you know, I'm going on three years on my personal phone now. And I think that DJI is trying to do exactly what iPhone is doing and just release multiple drones or variations of drones every year to increase sales for those of us that just love drooling over these things. And that's kind of what happened with this one. I wanted a new DJI drone. I told Abby I wanted to get one and then like a week later before I pulled the trigger, this one came out so I said let's let's grab this and go. And so I think now, just may maybe in summary for kind of all DJI drones, what seems to be the trend is they're all pretty good. Wherever your budget allows you to spend, you're probably going to get best in class for that price point. The prices are high. They're some of the highest on the market, yes. But whatever you want or need out of a drone, it is very likely that if you have purchased a $500 drone in the past and it was not DJI, and you're able to spend $500 on a DJI drone now, you're probably gonna be really happy with the experience for one reason or another. But this is kind of the Cadillac to drone users. I mean, you could use this professionally, but also you can use it just for fun, and that's what I've been using it as, mainly for fun. And most of the footage that you've been watching for uh, this video was just a nice family vacation that we took, and we flew the drone around for fun. It was really nice, and I think you guys can all agree that it probably couldn't mo look much better than what you're watching, or what you have watched. I'm truly impressed with this drone. I think there are some bells and whistles that I don't take advantage of because that's I'm just a little bit more of an experienced pilot, like all of the collision detection all over this drone. If you're flying it in normal mode or, or cinemata uh, cinematography, cinematic mode, uh, you'll get some really smooth shots, but the- But you did take advantage of the collision detection when you tried to follow me through the tree tunnel. It wouldn't let you. That is true. It was limiting for us. <laughs> I didn't turn it off, although you can. I just left it on by default. Uh, there was a shot where I wanted to follow Abby and Amelia through a little tree tunnel on vacation. Hopefully, I have the footage lined up while I'm talking about. And it would have been easy for me to fly through with any other drone, but the collision detection worked so well on this drone, it wouldn't let me go through that tunnel. So I flew up and above and filmed them you know, down through the uh, canopy. So. Uh, that was a little bit, I guess, honestly disappointing. I, I didn't really like that it limited me, although you can turn most of those features off. I just, uh, I, you know, quick workaround. Um, uh, one major complaint that I do have, actually I've got a couple, and to be fair, personally, their multi-battery charger, it does charge three at a time, but that, I'm going to quote, end quote, at a time, because it doesn't charge three at a time, it charges one at a time and it charges whichever one is nearest to full, which is a common thing to do with DJI drones now and their batteries. So if you've got a battery that's completely dead, which is very unlikely, one that's at 50% and one that's at 80%, it's gonna charge the battery that's at 80% first. And I mean, I like that feature because it'll get that 80% battery charged quicker, so if you want to go fly, you can fly quicker. And that's nice. But DJI in the past has had multi-battery chargers sold by DJI for their drones that actually will charge all three batteries at the same time faster than what um, it takes these little trickle chargers to charge one battery. I'm sure it's safer 
Um, so I applaud that, but I also wish that they would focus on charging all three batteries at once or maybe getting the last two charged faster. I just don't love that system. And I also really, really don't like the, if you get the fly more package and you're paying more for the, it does the job. Everything fits in here, but this is a purse and it is- It's a, a throwback to the spark purse. It's <laughs> so bad. It really is bad. Like I said, it does barely get the job done, but it just, it feels mid quality, but the follow through of it, when I've seen what third party companies can do, and I'm gonna have to give a shout out, one second, to these guys, because on our vacation, we actually took this drone with us as well as that drone. Uh, those are the only two we brought. <clears throat> And the case that this one provides is just, it's a nice hard case. I can actually hit it in things. And then inside, everything just is laid out perfectly. You've got quick, easy access to your drone, uh, the controller, extra battery, little charger up here, you know, and this is a nice, really hard, robust case. I feel like my $300 drone is protected so much better than my $1,300 drone. If I squeeze this bag, I might destroy my drone, you know? I have to put this on top and pad it with blankets and things, but check this out. They're the same size. I prefer this harder case and I wish DJI would step that up. That might be a small complaint, but I feel like when you're spending $1,300, they really shouldn't overlook this kind of stuff, you know, in my opinion. I also just hate the whole, it's a purse. I mean, I, I don't want to carry a purse around, but I did on vacation, I carried my purse with my drone in it so I could get to the beach and have some fun with the family so I don't really like that but overall the the flying everything every flying aspect about this drone for what I will use it for more than gets the job done it's very impressive the weight of it is extremely impressive what's your favorite thing about this drone uh, reliability yeah. reliability I I know confidently that I can throw this in the air and of all the drones that I have, it is the least likely to lose connection, to lose video feed, and and leave me hanging, you know? I mean, it is a reliable drone. That's probably the best thing DJI has for it. And not everybody has $1,000 to spend on reliability. That's why we like to cover more affordable options on our channel too. We do not just focus on these outrageously priced toys. You know, that's what they are. Uh, and they're also tools too for some people but for me this is a toy and and that's a, a nice treat for myself we do not buy all the dji drones that come out and i think that's an important talking point as we end this video here the the mavic 3 that is coming out probably really soon you know do you feel the need to upgrade to that or are you very happy and content with your mavic 2 and if they come out with a i, I think that if dji comes out with new just depends on what kind of tech is is offered. Yeah, I is guess. Is it a big enough upgrade or not? I guess so. If, if the Mavic 3 has an hour flight time on one battery, I'm probably gonna sell my Mavic 2 and get the <laughs> Mavic 3 because that's amazing. Uh, when they came out with the DJI, DJI FPV race drone, the FPV is what they call it, we got that because there's a big enough difference in technology. So when it comes to DJI, if they have a drone that seems to fit the needs that you're after, you're probably going to be in good hands these days, you know, but we started out and, and we still are extremely honest about our experiences with them. And DJI used to be more hit and miss than what they are now. They're more reliable. There are some other downsides to them as well, you know, being constantly connected and that sort of thing. But I think most people know about that now. And uh, this drone absolutely deserves the uh, follow-up to our first impressions to let you know what we think of it now we don't traditionally do this we'll take you guys out on a maiden flight with us and sometimes that's it but i'm coming to you after wholeheartedly i probably have a good i would say 30 flights on this drone since i've gotten it and for me considering we test hundreds of things every year that's pretty good uh, what was that a couple months ago we got this Maybe three months ago? No, I don't think it's been that long. Okay, so that's, you know, 15 know. to 20 flights per month roughly. Lost track so of it. That's pretty good. And I, I love flying it. So if you're interested in this drone or any DJI drone, let us know what your budget is. Maybe we can steer you in the right direction. Maybe you like the idea of flying a drone, but you do not want to break the bank. Let us know. I've got other alternative options that we've reviewed that are really great, solid drones. Might not get a seven mile range, but you can still get a 4K shot with a nice two axis gimbal paired with electronic image stabilization. 
and it does come remarkably close to what this will get you. The way I like to look at drones now is honestly, you can pay about a quarter of the price for what I would consider a little more than half of the experience that you'll get with a DJI drone. So in other words, after the two to three hundred dollar price range, you have to spend a significant more amount of money to increase the user experience in smaller increments over that two to three hundred dollar range. But it does show, and you can definitely tell when you have a DJI drone in your hands. If you like this, we'll have a link in the description box below. We can talk about things in the comments. If you'd like us to make a recommendation for you based on your budget, let us know in the comments. I'll do my best to see your comment and reach back out to you. I can give you links or whatever helps you out, advice, I'll do my best. And know that if you use our links, it does help support our channel and our family. So if you think that family values and the morals that we have on our channel mean something in today's world, then please consider using our link. Even if you're not gonna buy a DJI drone today and you've got some Werther's candy that you'd like to buy on Amazon, this drone link will take you to Amazon and you can buy that candy while you're there <laughs> and we'll make a few pennies off your candy purchase. So uh, if you do that, thank you very much. I wanna say a massive thanks to the big guy upstairs for allowing us to get in front of the camera, talk about experiences like this with with you guys super transparently and a massive thanks to our patreon supporters because most of the time if you see something on our channel that comes out of our pocket it also is coming out of the patreon supporters pockets as well but in this case this was a hundred percent us because i wanted to upgrade my dji experience that's exactly what i did massive thanks to our patreon supporters we'll have if you're interested the video of the budget drone that i referred to the the drone case that I love compared to the DJI drone is also a very good drone and that video will be popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye!